What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we have a strongholder SHX, which is up 10.1% at 1.2 cents. It has a $68 million market cap, a circulating supply of 5.3 billion, and a max supply of 100 billion coins. The all-time high on this coin was 5 cents almost three years ago. All-time low was three years ago at a million zero. So congratulations if you bought three years ago and held. Holy guacamole. This coin is currently available on the following exchanges. Looks like Gate.io, BitTrue, and Stellar Team. Uh, so with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Stronghold. Okay, everybody. So this is Stronghold here on TradingView. We are going to go over to the deck screen here real quick. And then I just have a quick question. Like, what is this huge red candle here? Now, that, I don't know if that's something to be too concerned about. Maybe that's them getting the liquidity off the sushi swap on Indigate IO or something like that. But that is just kind of sus to me to have a big red candle like that. But regardless, this thing has came back from the dead since December 2023, which surprisingly is where these start picking up is, um, you know, December 2023. I guess they did have a big drop right there as well. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of weird that it had that big drop right there. I'm not really too concerned about it here. Um, but if anyone knows what that was about, It'd be great to know. So comment below. According to that one, this has more data. So we're going to chart on this one and the other one. But according to this one right here, we're currently at the 382. That is our current main resistance area. So at around 1.6. So at 1.6 cents, that's the area that we really need to focus on overtaking for SHX. Um, obviously, after that, we have to focus on the other FIB areas, the 618 being the most important at 2.6. But regardless of that, man, since the last couple of days, we've just been running on stronghold. And that's where we can get back into this chart right here on the day chart. So SHX right now on the day chart, we've just been running, absolutely running since November. If you would have bought in back here in November, you'd be up, holy crap, 42X on your investment. How insane is that? 42X on your investment if you would have bought here uh, December of 2023. So SHX stronghold, not looking that bad. This is the gate IO pair. If you do the FIB from the top to the bottom, we're doing the FIB extension here. What I can currently see uh, this coin doing, oh shoot, doing is probably seeing some sort of cool down. I know that sounds bad. Like everyone's like, oh, you're talking about my coin going down. I just want my coin to go up. Coins don't go up forever. Let's be realistic. Indicators are just way too hot here on the day chart. And what I mean by that is your MACD topped out. You have a non-engulfing candle today, a smaller candle with a lighter green, which is showing the bullish sign or the bullishness is weakening. On top of that, you have your RSI that is deep in the red. When it flashes red, that's usually an indicator to, hey, it might be a great time to take profit. And based on that of back-tested data, this is when we flashed red last time, which obviously after that we capitulated. And then we flashed right here, which obviously we fell down a little bit more after that. So every time we flashed red on the RSI, it has been accurate. It has been an optimal time to take some profit. We have saw some sort of correction from that point on. Now, the correction I think we're going to be seeing isn't going to be that dramatic. Um, what I could see here on the long term, like if we just do this main fib right here, we'll be back down to the 786 at around 007 and then rally up to that 1236 area right here. The, honestly, if we did that, that would probably maintain this uptrend right here. We would probably bop around for a bit and then hit like right here at the convergence area and then head back up. So that's currently what I'm seeing here on the long term for SHX. If we just look at the short term here for SHX from the top to the bottom, just this initial run up right here. Obviously, you have your micro support areas, which is your 786 at 11 and then your 618 at 1 cent. Those are the areas that you want to focus on here in the short term. Uh, but honestly, I don't really look at the short term anymore. The long term is where it's at, you know, play the long game. And what that's looking at is a retracement back down to that 786 at around 007. So what we could say is, hey, let's combine both those fibs and then you can get a support channel, an area in which this coin could see support at. And that support channel is currently right here between the 618 and that 786 area. So we're gonna flip this green real quick for you guys. And this is the area that we would most likely see some sort of bounce off of for SHX. You know, we get a hard candle to the 618, wick down to that 07, and then take off from that point on. So that's what I'm currently seeing Stronghold doing is probably seeing some sort of slight retracement back down to around that one cent area and then continuing its rally to the upsides. From where we're currently at, that's approximately a 25% drop. I know nobody wants to hear that about their coin, but sometimes you just have to look at the charts and face the facts. So right now, I think what we're going to be seeing is some sort of correction for SHX, and that's actually beneficial for the coin in the long term. It allows the indicators to cool off and gives us a nice running start. 
uh, at put some higher highs in and then breaking above, you know, that two, three, four cents area and starting to take off. Because the longer you run up without seeing pullbacks, the harder you crash back down and nobody wants to see that. So it's rather important to do these small step up patterns like this instead of just straight run ups. That's the healthiest way to go for a coin and continues the bullish cycle longer than a straight moonshot and a quick capitulation. So that's what I'm seeing right now, back down to around one, one, and then inevitably one cent -ish area and then a rally to the upside from that point on. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, you can just send me a super thanks in the comments and I'll get to them within 24 hours. Thank you.